Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this Stable Diffusion tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Stable Diffusion API. No GPU required, even you can do it on edge devices. All you need is Python. So we are going to see how to use Stable Diffusion SDK or API, whatever they call it, and then generate images. I'm not going to get into details of the code. The code that you're going to see right now is actually put together by the Stable Diffusion team. So you can you can refer this code um, exactly like here, but I'm just going to give you a step by step walkthrough of how to do that. And if you face any issue, what kind of issue that you might face at the end of this code, at the end of this tutorial, you would be able to give a prompt something like this. And then that prompt would be able to generate some kind of image like this. So that's that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. But before we move forward, I would like to remind you that for you to do use their API, you need to create an account in dreamstudio.ai. So beta.dreamstudio.ai is a place where you need to create an account. And after you create an account, you might get two dollars, sorry, two pounds, um, British pounds for the first time. And I've already created one generation. So I'm going to refresh it now. Now you would probably see that my number of generations would have gone down because I've already 199. So you can see that I had two pounds um, that was equivalent of 200 generations and image generations. And because I did one generation already, now I have got 1.99 pounds and uh, I've got 199 generations available. And as we go through in this tutorial, I'll also show you what happens when I generate more, how it reduces. So important step, you have to register an account with dreamstudio.ai. I will link the link in the YouTube description. Just check it out. So the first step is go to beta.dreamstudio.ai and then register for you, register an account for yourself. And I think at this point, I don't know whether they're going to continue this, but at least at this point, they're going to give you two pounds, which you can use. But if you want more, you can, um, you can buy it. Like you've got, uh, you've got multiple options. Okay. Having said that, now let's get into the code of how we can use Stable Diffusion to create AI generated images using Stable Diffusion. The first thing is we need two libraries. Um, I mean, technically we need one Python library, Stability SDK, which is available in PyPy, which you can install through pip. The second one is whether you're on Linux, whether you're on Mac, you need something called libmagic. So if you're on Mac, just do brew install libmagic. If you are on Linux, then do apt get and install libmagic CL. Just remember, if you are on Linux, if you are watching this tutorial on Linux and you want to install that, you're going to install it using apt get install libmagic CL. Or if you are on Mac, do brew install libmagic. And if you are wondering about my coding environment, this is a very simple Jupyter notebook within VS Code Visual Studio notebook. And this is running on my local machine, which is not a GPU. So you can see that uh, on because it's it's Mac, I'm installing brew install libmagic. And also the first libraries, we've installed SDK, stability SDK. Once we have successfully installed the library, then the next thing is we need to authenticate, we need to add an environment variable, which we can use to do authentication later on. And the way we are going to do environment variable is we are going to say import get pass OS like we are going to import to and then we have to set OS dot environment OS dot um, for environment and you can say stability underscore key and get pass dot get pass and then you can enter the API key. So when you run this, it will actually open a model and in that model you can paste the API key that you basically go to the API section here. I mean, when you log in, you can see your account, go to the account details, membership details, sorry, go to the membership detail. And there you can see the API key and click copy here. Once you click copy, you can come back and enter that, enter that API key, paste the API key inside that model. And with that, your API key setup would have been done. So you would have added the API key successfully inside this voice environment environment as an environment variable. And uh, please make sure that uh, you don't share the API key with anybody because at least at this point, I don't see a way for us to revoke the API key. So maybe that would come later, but at least at this point, I don't see a 
way for you to revoke your API key from uh, dreamstudio.ai. So it's, it's, it's very important that you don't share the API key with somebody. So at this point, we have basically installed the library and added the API key so that you can, you can successfully go further. Now we are getting into the code code part, like the actual code. So we're going to import certain libraries to make our job easier, like IOS warnings. But the main thing is we need pillow for image processing. We're going to use IPython display to just display the image within your Jupyter notebook. And the main, main thing is these two things. So one from a stability SDK, you're going to import client and then import stability SDK dot interfaces dot goose AI. I don't know if this has any reference to, um, to uh, the latest Tom Cruise movie Top Gun. I don't know, but yeah, goose AI generation, generation underscore PB underscore, underscore PB2 as generation. So these things are subject to change. I think they're still polishing it, but I just wanted to get this, um, get this out so that people who do not have GPU also can, can, uh, generate stable diffusion images. I mean, you don't, you don't have to have four more. That's, that's the whole point. So it might change the API might change. Uh, but the main point is some libraries to make your job easier and certain libraries that are important, which is, um, pillow for uh, display images and, uh, sorry, um, IPython for displaying images, image processing. And then you have got your stability um, related um, components that you're importing. Once that is done, now you need to set up or do authentication. How are you going to do client dot stability inference is what we are doing. Going to do is this inference. The key is going to come from this environment variable. And then um, you want to keep it verbose so that in case if something goes wrong, you know, like there is an error. So that's, that's why you need to keep it verbose. And then you're going to do the authentication here. At this point, we are very well ready for us to proceed further. What I can actually do is I can probably call something as prompt equals, and then I can have this entire thing there and I can call it prompt equals prompt. Maybe a very bad naming input prompt, prompt equals input prompt. So that, you know, the text where you give this thing would be completely separate. So we have created a new string object where we are going to give text, Sim simple text based on which we want the image to be generated. So the existing one that we gave is Houston, we are a go for launch. And for that, this is the image that we got. So maybe I want to, I want to generate a different image altogether. So I can go ahead and then see, um, for example, I can say the Batman dark Knight rises wallpaper, something like this. I don't, I don't know what is going to happen. But yeah, this is my input prompt. Uh, I'm not going to generate a lot, but let's say this is my input prompt. At this point, I've got a text object that says input underscore prompt, and then it has got the text uh, 4K wallpaper. 4K HD. Okay. The next thing is, let me run this. So the next thing is, we are going to use stability underscore API dot generate, which is what we got here. And then we're going to give the prompt inside that. And that is going to get a Python generator object. So when we run this stability underscore API dot generate, it's going to return a Python generator object, which means we need to iterate over it. So we're going to iterate over it like the answers. So for example, what we're going to do is for response inside answers and inside that response, we're going to look for artifacts and inside the pick artifact and inside that see uh, whether there is a whether, whether there is something that you built that uh, whether there is something that you generated that violates their uh, api safety filters for example uh, nfs sw not suitable not suitable for nsfw not suitable for work images like violent images those things they don't allow currently so if you were creating anything like that it's going to give you a warning if it's not then you can take the image using pillow and that's what you're using PIL and then you can display the image and let's, uh, let's see what is going to happen. I'm going to run this entire thing. So you can see how long it takes for inference. At this point we have taken seven, 
okay at, at this point we have taken like about 7 seconds and um, my my internet is a very good internet so i think second i would i would keep 7 second is the time that it takes in a very good internet connection so this is the this is the image that we have got if i go back to the dashboard that i was showing you i had 199 generations because i had 1.99 so i can go here refresh this most likely you would see 1.98 and you have got 198 generations so that's that's basically how you use the api key so to quickly summarize again first thing is install the python library the main library sdk stability sdk the second thing is depending upon the os that you have got linux um use apt get install from lab libmagic lcl um for for mac brew install libmagic and for windows there will be a different method for you to install this bottom line just install this library on the respective os operating system that you have got then uh, i mean this is one time setup the next thing is add your stability api key inside your um, os environment this is again one time setup the url is available here which you can use to go get the api key like i said before please do not reveal the api key at this point with somebody because i don't see an option to revoke the api key which means if somebody gets hold of your api key they can generate images which is not a good thing to happen at this point the next thing is we're going to code and we're going to import certain libraries and uh, we're going to import the key libraries like displaying the image pillow for image processing and then from stability sdk we're going to get client and then we are going to get a like a, an object for a image generation in itself and uh, the next thing is we need to do authentication we are going to say client at stability inference we need to set the key and then we are going to call it verbo so that you can see if there is any error then we have a string object where we are going to create the input prompt in my case um, first first i think you saw houston you are a go for launch and now what we have is the batman dark knight rises 4k hd wallpaper definitely not a great prompt but um, i mean you have you have a string object the next thing is you're going to simply use stability underscore api dot generate and this is where the magic happens and you're going to give the prompt inside uh, right now as you see we are not doing any parameter tuning like we, we have not given anything like guidance or um or, or like we are, we are not we are not doing any parameter we are not giving any parameter we are just giving a simple text and i think that's that's, that's again and the whole objective of this video is not to make you an expert of how to use their api but to help you get started without any errors once you run this it's going to give a python generator object which means you need to iterate you cannot just directly take from it you want to iterate over the generator's response and you will pick a particular component where the image could be in case if what you searched what you gave the text does not pass through their filter then you're going to get a warning here so that is here and then finally if you have entered this section which is where you have got the image then load the image using pillow and display the image and then you have got the image and like i said you can do 200 generations uh, i have 198 generations but you can do 200 generations all completely without any gpu on any computer linux mac windows um, i think probably you can do it on your android phone as well like if you can install the magic uh, so you can basically do it anywhere so stable diffusion anywhere without gpu using api i hope this video was helpful to you um, in knowing how to run stable diffusion using their api any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise make sure that you go uh, start the repository that of this library that the stable diffusion stability AI team has put together if you have uh, any question you can ask the question on issues also give a shout out to them thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one peace happy coding